Now I want to show you how to use ChatGPT to learn any skill in five easy steps. So make sure to watch the rest of the video as I go through the prompts so that you can use this on your own to learn and master any skill through ChatGPT. So step one is using ChatGPT as your mentor. So it's very easy for this one. You just simply define a role for ChatGPT to be. Okay, so for example, over here, you are an expert in creating online courses for passive income. Okay, so we're defining a role for ChatGPT to be, and then we just give ChatGPT the instructions that you will teach me how to go through this. Now, the really cool thing with this one is that once you enter this, ChatGPT will now give you a quick outline on what you need to learn to be able to master this skill. So for example, in creating online courses, it tells about choosing your topic, market research, okay, target audience, etc. Okay, but sometimes if you think about this, it could get overwhelming, okay? So what you can do as well is instead of doing this, we can add a follow-up question that, okay, I want to master this skill, okay? So think of a time frame. So for example, let's say in four weeks, and create a study schedule for me, okay? So what we want to do is ChatGPT to be able to like make this more bite-sized for us or more of like spread it across a period of time for us to be able to manage on what we need to learn. Now, let's say you can also place restrictions like I have one hour per day, three days per week, okay? And I want to learn the core concepts ASAP in this time frame, okay? So for this one, okay, let's see what ChatGPT will come back with. And the really cool thing is it just takes whatever it gave us from a while ago, and now it's breaking it down week per week. Now, what we're saying is day one to two, okay, for week one, right? And then day three to four, let's say this is three days per week. So I'm assuming that this is for the first day, right? And then this is for the second day, okay? And then this is for the third day. Now. Okay, it talks about week two, what is the main focus for week two, and then what is the main focus for week three, and then week four for the launch. Okay. Now, the really nice thing with this one is that you can simply update the prompt, okay, and just update with your time frame. Let's say you have a longer amount of time, six weeks, or maybe three hours per day, for example, right? You can just update this, and then ChatGPT will create the study plan for you accordingly as well, okay? And if you don't like this one, right, you can just comment and then just tell ChatGPT to make some changes over here. Now, the really nice thing with this one is that let's say you have further questions. So for example, let's say this one, establish a community space. Let's say it's not really clear to you. Now I can just go for copy over here, okay? And then I'll just type in, expound on this, and then just paste, okay? the specific point that ChatGPT mentioned, and then it will simply give you more information, okay? In more detailed discussion forums, social media groups, like Q&A sessions, etc. Okay, so the really nice thing with this one is that for the study plan, you're not really limited to that one, just that outline. You can just simply drill down further as you do the learning day by day, okay? Depending on your schedule, just follow that schedule. You will be able to learn that skill in no time. Step two is to learn quickly from books. So if you have a specific topic in mind, you can just simply ask ChatGPT on what are the best books. So for example, what are the best books? Let's say I'm interested in the topic of personal finance. So for personal finance. Okay, so just ask ChatGPT that question and now you have a couple of books already in mind. And the really cool thing with this one is that you can ask ChatGPT to provide a summary for a specific book for you. So for example, over here, right? We have 10 books over here, right? And there are a couple of famous ones, Millionaire Next Door, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Total Money Makeover. So for example, let's say I'm interested about Rich Dad, Poor Dad, but I don't really want to read the entire book because it's gonna take a lot of time. Now, you can also ask ChatGPT provide a summary for number two, okay? So you just simply type in the book name Okay, I've read the book myself and I can confirm that, okay, I'm looking at the summary right now and it is consistent with the contents of the book, assets versus liabilities, financial education, right, entrepreneurship, leverage, okay, and taking risks. So it's really cool, right? And the really nice thing with this one is with the summary, okay, let's say there are a couple of things that you want to learn more about, let's say about assets versus liabilities. So you could just say that, okay, expound on point number three. Okay, so now it's talking about assets and liabilities because that's number three that I mentioned. 
the really nice thing is that any specific topic inside the book, right, it's a condensed version, but if there are specific topics that you are interested in or want to learn more about it, like, okay, what's leverage? Then you just simply ask ChatGPT to expound on that specific point. So the really nice thing with this approach is that you don't need to like understand everything or learn everything in one go. The specific topics that are really relevant to you, then that's when you can dive deeper by asking ChatGPT to expound on that specific subtopic. Step three is testing and applying your new skills. So with any skill that you're trying to learn, what's very important is to be able to reinforce your learning. And there are pretty much two main ways that you can do that with ChatGPT. One is through quizzes, and the second is through projects. So for example, let's say you're learning in Spanish on how to write or how to speak the language. Now you can just simply ask ChatGPT to quiz you or to give you a quick exam. So for example, over here, you are my Spanish teacher. Test me on the common phrases and give me three questions displaying one after another as I answer one by one. And the cool thing is ChatGPT is just able to quickly create this for you. You can just make it a longer quiz. You can just give like, what do you want to be tested on? Okay, so over here, right, you could have this first question, how do you say hello in Spanish? So maybe I'll just respond back, okay, on how to say hello. And then it's just saying that, okay, it's correct. Now let's move on to the next question, question number two. How do you say thank you? Okay, so the really cool thing is pretty much anything that you want to be quizzed on, you can just ask ChatGPT, specify the length, okay, and then just be able to reinforce your learning. That's the first way. My preferred way actually is through projects, but it really doesn't apply to all. It really depends on the skill that you're trying to learn. For example, let's say I'm learning how to use Excel pivot tables for data analysis. And the really cool thing with this one is you can also ask ChatGPT, let's say, okay, I have just learned how to use Excel pivot tables. Okay, so it's a fairly technical skill when it comes to data analysis. So a really good thing is to be able to ask about what three small projects can I learn to further my learning, okay? So let's see what ChatGPT will come back with. Now, sales analysis, that's really good. Budget tracking and survey analysis, okay? So the really nice thing with this one is it gives me projects to work with so that I can like have real world experience when it comes to mastering that skill. Now, the really nice thing with this one, because this is about data analysis when it comes to working with pivot tables, and you can even have a jumpstart on your project by asking ChatGPT that, okay, let's say, can you create sample data for me to use for, let's say, number one for sales analysis? And this really blew my mind because one of the things over here is it makes it a lot easier for me, okay, to be able to, like, really jump straight to my project because with this one there's pretty much two main steps okay for the project is creating sample data and then after that the fun part which is creating the actual report or the pivot table and with this one the mundane part right chat gpt is able to help me on that with any project that you're working on and you can just ask it that okay provide sample data for me so that you don't need to go through this mundane step anymore what i can simply do is copy paste this one right paste it to my spreadsheet, and then I can just go straight to my project. So that's the really nice thing with ChatGPT. So if you're enjoying this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I also have a free ebook for you on the top four ways to earn passive income. The link is also in the description. Step four is getting more resources. So you can also ask ChatGPT to give you more resources to further your learning. So for example, Let's say we are learning right now on how to earn passive income in Canada. So it's very country specific. So you can also ask ChatGPT for that, like, okay, what are the top five websites for that? Okay, that will teach me how to earn passive income in Canada. And it quickly gave me a couple of websites over here. Okay, and this is where the beautiful part comes in. You can now start combining the different steps that we have discussed, okay, on how to use ChatGPT in learning. Because right now, what I have opened over here is the millennial revolution over here, right? So one of the articles, I just opened the mortgage renewal trap. And the really cool thing with this one is now you can also copy, let's say what I highlighted, like the article over here, okay? And you can simply copy this. And then you can now ask ChatGPT to summarize this for you. Because if you have a lengthy article, right? You can just simply have ChatGPT make it bite-sized for you. And this is my personal favorite. Let's say if it's a complicated topic, you can simply ask ChatGPT that, okay, summarize 
okay, and explain this to a five-year-old, okay. So what I'll do is I'll just paste in, right, the text that I have copied right now, okay, and then let's see what ChatGPT will come back with. So some important things happening, right, and now it has summarized this for me in a very simplistic way, okay. So it's even mentioned at the very end. So the story, it's like when you play with toys and sometimes things go wrong, people are trying to fix it, but we don't know what will happen yet. Okay, so it really depends. Five-year-old might be on overkill, okay, because it's like really, really simplified, but you can just change it and still use this technique to have like articles for the further reading that you're doing, right? And then just ask ChatGPT to summarize this for you. Step five is learning from mistakes. So one of the things is success is great, okay, but it's not really a great teacher because most of our learning would come from our mistakes. And one of the things is that we usually ask ChatGPT to teach us how to do things right. But can it also tell us what are the common mistakes that we could learn from? So for example, let's say I'm writing my first ebook and I want to ask ChatGPT, tell me what are the common mistakes to avoid that people usually end up doing. Now let's just submit this and then see that, okay, what are the common mistakes that we need to avoid? Okay, so lack of clear purpose, okay, poor proofreading, overwhelming length, weak formatting, okay, the cover designs neglected, lack of marketing strategy. So these are a lot of good points that you can learn from. So any topic that you have, right, you can just ask this question as well. And then let's say we can also like expound on, let's say for the market strategy for number six. So expound on number six, right? And now it's gonna be giving you tips on how to avoid this specific mistake. Let's say if you see that, okay, this is a potential weakness of mine that I can improve on, okay? So that's a really nice thing with ChatGPT. You can just learn anything under the sun with this amazing tool. And if you want to create your own YouTube videos using ChatGPT, watch this video next.